Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up your Bunter 18.4 in VirtualBox. To start off with, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on the Ubuntu website. You now need to go up to download and you now need to click on Ubuntu desktop and you now need to click on Ubuntu 18.4 and press download. We now need to wait for it to load up and press save file and go OK. You now need to click on the second link that's in the description below and you will end up on the VirtualBox website. You now need to click on download VirtualBox 5.2 and we now need to click on Windows Host and go save file. Once everything has finished downloading we can now run the VirtualBox install. You now need to go next next again and we want to go next and yes and we now need to go install you now need to keep start virtual box ticked and we need to go finish we can now go to new in the top left hand corner of virtual box and type in Ubuntu you now need to make sure you've got the version that you downloaded selected I'm going to be using the 64-bit version of Ubuntu you now need to go next and we now need to select how much memory we would like to use. Ubuntu do recommend that you have at least 2 gig of RAM. So I'm going to actually set mine to 6 gig. But if you only have 2 gig then that would be 2048. But like I said I'm going with 6 gig which is 6144. To work out how much memory you want to use, then 1024 is 1 gig. If you want to use 3 gig, then all you need to do is times that by 3. We can now go ahead and press next. And I always use virtual hard disk. That is absolutely fine. We can now go ahead and press create. And you want to keep VDI selected and go next again. And we want to use dynamically allocated selected as well and go next. You now need to select how much hard drive space you do want for your Ubuntu. I'm going to actually use 25 gig, which is like that. As your Ubuntu do recommend that you do have 25 gig. We can now go ahead and press create. And there we go. As you can see, we now have our virtual machine. We now need to click on the virtual machine and right click and go settings. And we now need to go down to system. And we can now go across to processor. And you can change how many CPUs Ubuntu is going to use. At the moment it's only set to 1. I'm actually going to turn this up to 4. We now need to go down to display and we can adjust our video memory. Mine is currently set to 16. I actually want to turn this up to 128, but depending on what your hardware specs are, depends on what you can select. Once you are happy with all that, we can now go down to storage, and you now need to click on this empty slot here, and we now need to click on this disk image, and we need to add the ISO image of Ubuntu that we just downloaded by simply selecting choose virtual optical disk file. And there it is, as you can see, I've got it on my desktop. I now need to go open and we can now go ahead and press OK. Once you are happy with all that, we can now go ahead and press start, which will begin to open up our virtual machine. Right, and here we go. This is the setup process for Ubuntu. We now need to select install. And you now need to select your keyboard layout. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to select UK. And we now need to go continue. You now need to select normal installation. And we can also install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware and go continue. You now need to keep Arrays Disk and install Ubuntu selected 
and go install now. We now need to go continue. And we now need to select where we are. I'm in London, so I'm going to select continue. And you now need to put your name in. I'm just going to put computer sluggish. And also we need to choose a password. That's not too short. There we go. Hopefully that will work. Also, you can select login automatically and you will not have to type in your password every time you log in. We can now go ahead and press continue. And there we go. As you can see, Ubuntu is now being installed on our virtual machine. Once everything has finished installing, you now need to click on restart now. You now need to close down the virtual machine by clicking on the X and go in power off machine. We now need to right click on Ubuntu virtual machine again and go to settings. And you now need to go down to storage. And we now need to make sure we don't have any disk image, which as you can see, it's now empty. We can go ahead and press OK. And we now need to launch up our virtual machine again. And there we go, that is how you install Ubuntu onto a virtual machine. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.